Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great day. Well, today we have another unbagging, so let's see who it's from and who we need to do a review for. It's kind of poofy. Make sure there's nothing there. All right. Well, it looks like we've got three cross-stitch kits. And this comes from DIY Digital Art. I really like their store and everything that goes with it. Hold on just a second. All right. So the first one is an 11 count. Isn't that beautiful? Just absolutely Stunning. Yeah, I fell in love with the picture before the cross stitch. What can I say? Get it all out of this bag here. Oops. Yep, put that up there and flip it over so you can actually see the picture. That's a very nice picture. Isn't that beautiful? I'm going to bring you down just a bit. For a second so you can see all the beautiful details in that isn't that gorgeous oh they had two or three of these and there's lots of different things inside of it but yeah I just thought this was outstanding so we'll see how outstanding and how it translates to cross stitch let me put you back so you can see everything now this kit was it's a 40 by 50 and it was nine dollars and 25 cents so it's not too spendy does have 44 colors now this um pattern is a little bit small so if you'd like you can blow it up product number 40 by 50 it's 148 by 91 it is an 11 count it does have how to start, how to finish instructions. But very nicely printed. I kind of like it on this this odd paper. I was looking, somebody said this was a sticker, but this doesn't look like a sticker to me. I mean, I think you'd have to. No, it's not a sticker. At least as far as I can tell. And it looks like it's going to be a little bit confetti. You're going to have some 310 because that's your background. Yep. And it's all in a solid color to really bring out all this in the middle. I like that it's a 40 by 50. That's just my, my style. And I like that size. I either go 40 by 50 or 100 plus by a million, you know? So we go from one extreme to the other. So like I said, it has 310 black and then you can, it has kind of a small key. This key will match your, your canvas, but it does show the colors of the threads running down here. And there is 666 red. There's 310, um, no 823. You have that lovely, uh, 902 which is like a deep brick red if you will I like that color no 939 you do have 3371 which is a dark brown and no 3865 so yeah lots of variation in colors you can't really see it but we'll show you the threads anyway yeah, that'll go much better. Does come with a kit. Oh, we have a new one. Let's see here. I It got a little smeared in the, the making. I think it's supposed to be an ox. I don't know if you can see that. But it got a little smeared right there. It evidently wasn't dry. Or it got pulled a little bit. But I've never seen that one before comes with five needles, poof ball, thimble, and needle threader. So that's a new bag. Hopefully they're not all like that. 
Let's take a look at the threads. Can you get it? Oh, the, the sticky part didn't want to come off. All right, let me pull that out of the way. Does come with two hanks, I'm sure. It is 310 black. Yep. And, yep. So there's 80 threads right there of 310 black. Nice. Very soft. Very nice. Like it. And then we have all these beautiful, rich, antique looking colors. Let me give it a shake. We'll go with the first one. They're kind of autumn -y colors here. At least these are. You have golds and browns and kind of a tan and taupes. Mm. And then you got some more rich dark colors. If I can get a hold of it. Hang on. Beautiful, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous colors. Greens. That is 3371 right there your dark dark brown I had to look there is not a sticker on here saying you know matching to the product so I just write on the back with your sharpie works every time you want to write on the back not on the front because on the front it has this shiny part but on the back it's porous it's not covered so very very nice beautiful colors just mm. Stunning! I'm going to wrap you up because you know how stuff happens. I forget what goes with what. And it doesn't take much for me to forget. I have an, a mind like an un-elephant. Because, yeah. And we have lots of... It is surged all the way around. I'm trying to get a hold of all these edges. And we're going to just cut those excess threads off of there. Because sooner or later, it will get stuck in the needle and blah, blah, blah. And then it just causes more problems than it's worth. But we didn't get it all. All right, let's look at the canvas. So see, it's not very wide. Not very wide at all. It does have the product number, how big it is, and how many squares per square. Now, there isn't a... The colors running down the sides but it is a nice big key the thread or the thread the surging does go into the numbers but your numbers are all on your paper pattern so very nice but that black is going to be a pistol i'm telling you and for this one you would want to do the background because it's just going to make everything else pop it'll be lovely very well printed i don't see any smears nothing let's go and see how big it is it is 51 centimeters that way or 20 inches by mm, tad over 40 and almost 16 inches that way actual picture size is 33 and a half uh, centimeters or 13 and a quarter by 45 centimeters or 17 and a quarter inches so yeah I just thought this was a beautiful picture like I said I'm gonna frame every one of them beautiful pictures cuz you know we'll never ever finish all these but yeah I just thought this was beautiful I love all the flowers around it. I love the rabbit and how it looks. It'll just be stunning. I can hardly wait to start on that. Mm. Gorgeous. On to the next bit of gorgeousness. Look at that picture. I know you can't see it really well. I'll take it out of the bag, I promise. Okay, this one is 40 by 50 as well, and it was $8. I love the prices on these. They're not too expensive. So if you're just starting this, you know, starting to do cross stitch, you don't have to invest much. And if it doesn't work out for you, that's fine. Fine, you know. 
But at least you haven't expounded a fortune. But will you take a look at that picture? Uh, to die for. Yeah, I love the blues, the touch of orange, you know, that all complements together. It's just gorgeous. And this is called Scallop. Okay. And it does have a paper pattern. Paper pattern will match the canvas. Product number, how big it is. It's 129 by 173. Does have 30 colors. Just stunning. And it does have the uh, the color bars going along the side. I don't know what else to call them. But yeah, I think this is going to be a rivers. It's, you know, the colors are running in rivers because of that scallop there in the back. Just gorgeous. It has no 310. It does have 550 purple. Yay! My favorite purple. 823, which is a dark blue. A little bit of 939 for the background. So that's going to be your, your yellow parts here. And no 3371, no 3865. So, yeah. Very nice. Lovely, lovely colors. And like I started to say, or if I didn't say it, it doesn't have a lot of confetti. It's just kind of spotty here and there on certain ones. But everything else is in like rivers or long, you know, areas. So that'll be easy to do. Let's take a look at all this. My goodness. This is one of those kits where they put all the thread on the thread card. You'll you'll see what I mean here when I get to the There's your 939. So there's an entire hank right there of 939. Beautiful, deep, rich colors. There's your 550 purple. Oh, to die for. And then you have some teals and turquoise in this. Just stunning. And even some light pale yellow. This is kind of an off-white color. I don't know, number seven, what that color is. 712. I've had that before. So it's kind of got a, a tan look to it, you know. But it's really totally pale. But yeah. Love the greens and blues. The teals. Look at that. Such jewel tone colors. Mm. Gorgeous. There was a, a kit. Oh, not a kit. It wasn't a kit. A pattern I wanted to do, and it was something Tunisia. Tunisian or Tunisia. And I think it was by Rosewood Manor. And they did it. Um, it was like a Moroccan look. But they did it on like a hot pink fabric and then all the colors were like teals and turquoises. Ugh. Just to die for. No, I haven't gotten that pattern yet. I don't even know if that pattern's still available. Well, let's look at this pattern because it is available. Alright, as far as I know. At the time of filming. So you get two needles down here. You don't get a kit. It is not surged. does have the product number, how big it is, and it's 129 by 173. Very nice, very big, very easy to see. Has a huge key. Now, this one does have the bars of the colors running down here. So, oh, I want to do blue, or I want to do red, or whatever. You can see those colors. I like when they add those. And there's a fair good picture right there. Of it. I don't know how well that's coming across on camera. But yeah, just beautiful. And there is not a lot. Where that yellow is, is the 939. So there's just a bit at the top. And then you got a bit at the bottom. So there's way less of that the background there. But it's going to make all that pop. Yeah, you'd have to do that. But gosh, just absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
Let's see here how big it is. Ouch. Let's see. Um, trying to get it even. 48 and a half or a little over 19 inches by 39 centimeters or 15 and a half. Actual picture size is 11 and 3 quarters or 29 and a half centimeters thereabouts. Really close by approximately 40 centimeters or 15 and 3 quarters. So it's not too big, not too complicated at all. This would be a nice one for somebody just starting, you know, because it's not frustrating. The colors, like I said, are in rivers. So, yeah. Oh, got a kink in my arm. Sorry. But yeah, very nice. And it's not too big, so you don't lose interest three quarters of the way. But that's why I like 40 by 50. It's big enough to show the the definition and everything without it being overwhelmingly huge. All right, so we got one more. And I'm not sure what this one is. I'm reading it, but we'll see. It just did not make sense. Oh, there's another one of those oxen. Must have been the one they had this week. I don't know if I can get that. Can you see his face? This one's better than the last. But yeah, five needles, poof ball, thimble, needle threader. Pretty cool. I was looking at the numbers. This one says 39 and this says 51. So I've never had that. Had a deer once. I know, you, you're, you're, yeah. All right. Let me see. It's like a bird in winter. I will put a picture here. That way you can see what the picture looks like. I like the muted colors in it. Nice, big, huge pattern. Product number, how big it is. And then at the bottom, says... How many squares per square? It's 147 by 190. Has 40 colors. Very nicely printed pattern. It's huge. It's almost life size. I mean, as far as being the squares all being the same size as the 11 count. This one has no 310. Uh, it does have some 823, some 939 for your darker parts. And it does have 3865 for your white. I like when they use that instead of the B5200. B5200 is just stark. Where 3865 has its toned down. I know some people say it's got a blue tone to it. I don't see that, but... It's just different. It's just not bright, bright, vivid. And this is a full coverage pattern. But it does have big areas to stitch on. This, whoa, this kit was $9.50. For each of these kits, they were all under $10. So, I think it's a good investment, you know, and it's not so much that, oh my gosh, I spent $40 on that kit and I can't do this. You know what I mean? So this gets you there. You get to practice on your cross stitch. Because nobody but you cares about your stitches. Just practice. You know, and practice and practice and practice and practice and stitch. You know, and it will get better over time. I, when I started, my stitches were horrible. Uh, yeah, oh, my mother was like, okay, take that out. Not happening. Like, but, uh, no, take it out. Yeah. So, I always had somebody, like, breathing down my neck. I mean, they didn't have to be perfect, but 
you know, let's try to get, because I was doing cross stitch, let me preface that with, um, the ones that were printed on like, uh, doilies, not doilies, but dresser scarves, and what do you call them? Dresser scarves, and pillowcases, and tablecloth type stuff, and it was, the pattern was just printed on in one color, and you made up your own color scheme. Yeah, I just couldn't cover up those lines fast enough, yeah. But that's how I started doing cross-stitch, and then eventually I got to 8 o'clock, so there you go. Very nice pattern, very well printed, there's no smears on the pattern, nothing. It's awesome. Did I tell you that there was 40 colors in this? Yeah, I was so concerned about what colors were in it does come with a how to begin, how to end piece of paper. It even shows you how to do stitches at the bottom if, you know, you so choose to use that. Carry on. All right, let's take a look at these gorgeous, gorgeous colors. It's coming. It's coming. Where are you? I like when they package them this way. They don't get mushed together. They don't get knotted. It's awesome. And it's like one extra little... I don't know what you want to call it. It's an extra, you know, to put them in a bag separately. That way they don't get all messed up. Look at those colors. Here's your 3865. And that's kind of a, a plum color. And a medium and then that brown oh lovely oh and there's like this is a shade darker than the other plum I was thinking it was 154 but it's not even there all right look at those colors blues dark dark that's uh, 939 so there's not too much of it then you got some pale colors. Look at that blue. Oh, it's like robin egg blue. Mmm. Love it. There's like a, I don't know. It's got a little purple or something in it, but it's, it's not blue green. I don't know. Like a medium teal, if you will. There's your eight two three. Gorgeous, gorgeous shades of colors. Mm. Gorgeous. Let's take a look at... Ooh, let's try not to knock everything over. We got some little fringes over here. Let's get rid of them. All right. It is surged all the way around. Very nicely done. Now, there's no color bar running down here, but the surging does not go into the numbers, but your paper pattern will match, so no, no worries. But this has nice big pieces. Now, like the center of this is a little bit confetti, but yet around it, it has rivers and pools of color, so I'm not seeing a whole lot of confetti, not saying that it isn't there. And then over here, you've got just a little bit more confetti, but it's like in spots. Instead of the whole thing going, oh my goodness, yeah. I've been to oh my goodness and back. Uh-uh, not today. Let's see how big this is. It is 51 centimeters or 20 inches by... 40 centimeters or 15 and three quarters. Actual picture size is 13 and a quarter or eh, 34 centimeters or thereabouts by whoop, 17 and a half or 44 and a half centimeters. So nice size, not too big. I like that it has bigger areas in it. So that's nice very nice material on all of these and very well printed nice and dark you can see them and on there's something right there 
I guess it was just a piece of fuzz or something. Um, but whatever it was, it's gone. Let me do this. Very easy to read symbols and to see. But do you see how there's confetti right in that section? But it just works its way out into the pools of color. So, hey, I just want to do red today. Or, I just want to do the pink symbol today. You can do whatever. Now, that 40 is definitely that 3865 because it's the sky. And then you got some... A little bit of it down in here. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. Alright. Now, DIY Digital Art has diamond painting and cross stitch. They do have a separate Joy Sunday section. They also have beaded cross stitch. They have tools and crafts for both. Uh, they also have paint by number, wax seal, die cut. They have jigsaw puzzles in regular and wooden, I believe. And they also sell tote bags. So they've got everything you need. And they also have a section, and it says, like, at the top, I can't show you because I'm using my phone. At the top, you know, where it says diamond painting, cross stitch, or whatever that goes across the top, there's one little section that says other, and they sell home and garden stuff, like lights and lighting and tools, and just, it's like a whole nother store in their store. Whoa, I thought we were going to have an avalanche there. So, do check them out. And they always have great prices. Very comparable prices. Very user-friendly. And wanting people to, to start cross-stitch or start diamond painting. And you don't have to spend a fortune. So, check them out. Thank you, DIY Digital Arts, for sending me these three beautiful kits. I love them. Yeah. It'll be like a toss-up as to which one I start first. You know how that goes. All right. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell. That way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. We'll see you next time. God bless. Bye-bye.